Hefner back with you tonight on Southern All-Star Wrestling. You know it's Tuesday night in Chattooga County, Georgia, because it's time for Southern All-Star Wrestling. And tonight, I'm joined by the junk man, Sid G. Sanford, the man from El Segundo, California, who's made a second home in Chattooga County. He's going after the Southern TV champion, Big Ben Thresher, tonight on Southern All-Star Wrestling. Sid, you've got to be hyped up. You've got to be ready for this match, because Ben Thresher's the champion. This is the biggest match of your career. Well, I tell you what, Phil Hefner, back in El Zagundo, we got mules bigger than Ben Thrasher. Ben Thrasher's lucky if I don't put five across his lips, Phil Hefner. And if Phil Hefner, I tell you what, if Ben Thrasher's not careful, I might just might hit him with the big one. Man, said if I was a betting man, I'd have to put my money on you tonight, I got to tell you. But in the main event tonight, we've got Chattooga County's favorite son, Air Paris defending the Southern title, the title he won here in Chattooga County against the former champion. One of the baddest men in professional wrestling, the urban legend, Murder One, and not only Murder One, he's got that little worm, Logan Chase the third in his corner. What do you have to say about those guys? Well, Logan Chase back in El Zagundo would make a good house cat, but Murder One, you're right, Phil Hefner. Murder One is a big guy. Murder One, he's Cornbread fed, looks like he eats a loaf of toast and a carton of eggs for breakfast. But I'll tell you what, I have faith in Air Paris, and Air Paris is liable to put five across Murder One's lips, and he's going to hit Murder One with the super kick, and that's going to be it. One, two, three. Man, fans, that's right here tonight, only on Southern All-Star Wrestling, Chattooga County's home for pro wrestling. Saw TV, keep your seats. We'll be right back with you after this. Welcome back to Southern All-Star Wrestling for your first match of this week. I'm joined, unfortunately, by the manager of champion and the champion of managers, Logan Chase. And this match is for the Southern TV title. Logan Chase, I, I'd like to say it's an honor to have you here, but I'm, I'm not real glad to. Phil Huffner, let me just tell you this one thing, and let's make this clear right now. I am probably the best co-host that you can have right here on Southern All-Star Wrestling TV. Get that straight. Well, Saw TV, the premier wrestling show in the Southeast, has said G. Sanford chases the Southern TV champion. He's not as bad as he says, evident. Wow, vicious chop in the corner by the man from El Segundo, the junk man, if you will. All reversal by Big Ben Thresher. Oh! This, look at this. The intensity of the champion, Ben Thrasher, Phil Hefner. Look at the intensity. Oh, takes his head off. You see that, Phil Hefner? Did you see that? That's what Paris has in store tonight. Well, tonight, he's hinted on it, and we mentioned it last week as we went off the air. Tonight's main event on Southern All-Star Wrestling Saw TV is the Southern title match, Air Paris, the man from right here in Chattooga County, Georgia, the Southern heavyweight champion, going up against the open legend. Wow, vicious foot to the face of the junk man. But he's taking on the former champion, the urban legend, if you will, managed by Logan Chase III, murder one, the most, probably the most vicious man in professional wrestling today. 
that match will happen right here tonight, and I will make this guarantee right now. We will walk out with the Southern Heavyweight Championship. But Phil Hefner, let's get back to the action in the ring right now. Look at Ben Thrasher making some improvements that not even the Hollywood plastic surgeon could do to said G. Sanford right now. Said, said Sanford should pay Ben Thrasher for what he's doing to him right now. Well, Logan Chase, you know, said G. Sanford, we've talked about a lot of rookies because a lot of rookies make their home in Southern All-Star Wrestling. Said G. Sanford is an up-and-coming rookie, one of the most popular wrestlers here at Saw TV. Wow, vicious, vicious fist by uh, the champion, Southern TV champion, Big Ben Thrasher. Well, what is this now, Phil Hefner? What is this? I have hinted on this week after week after week. Where do you pick this referee up at? I mean, Ben Thrasher clearly is pinning the man right here, and the referee is not doing his job by making the three count. Referee Chris Gans, a youngster himself, he's got to break this. Whoa. Referee Chris Gans is one of the top wrestlers in the southeast right now. He works for Southern All-Star Wrestling. He works for our sister organization, Pro Wrestling Evolution. And as you said, on September 16th, you forecasted that Murder One will go into that big show in the Canton, Georgia National Guard Armory as the Southern Heavyweight Champion. And I know you've got another monster at Pro Wrestling Evolution. Thank God you haven't broke him out in Southern All-Star Wrestling yet. This guy, Maul, he's going up against two guys. He's going up against the former Southern Tag Team Champions, the regular guys. I, I don't know how you could get anybody any more unpredictable than Murder One. Phil Hefner, you hinted on it. Look at Ben Thrasher. He just took said G. Sanford's head off with that boot. But you hinted on it. September 16th, Phil Hefner, Pro Wrestling Evolution. I will unleash my monster mall on the regular guys. But you left off a little piece of what happened at the Southern Heritage Invitational Tournament, Phil Hefner. I added a new member to Chase Enterprise and won Caleb Conley. Caleb Conley, the, the youngster I've heard so much about. I wasn't aware of that. I, honest to goodness, I was out of town on business that week. I wasn't aware that you added the youngster that so many wrestling organizations, so many websites are talking about this Caleb Conley. I added the international playboy himself, Caleb Conley, to Chase Enterprise. This could be it. Logan Chase, he, uh, he's got a submission hold on uh, Junkman, Said G. Sanford. And if you look in the monitor right now, referee Chris Gans all over this. He's watching for Said G. Sanford to give up. Well, trying to get the fans behind him right now. Said G. Sanford and the fans. Go, said go. I hear him right now. You know, Phil Hefner, the odor in this building just got a lot worse. Said G. Sanford, he's from a garbage dumpster, for heaven's sakes. He's stinking up the place. You could at least get the man some air freshener. Pay him enough to get some air freshener. Logan Chase, this is ridiculous. Said G. Sanford comes from a, a long line of junk dealers. It's, uh, you know, I can't doubt that, but he is a working man. He is the true working man of, the true working man of Georgia wrestling. This man works for a living every day. Maybe it's picking up aluminum cans on the side of the road. Maybe it's selling his copper wire, but these fans love him. He's one of them. That's all the working man can do is pick up aluminum cans on the side of the road. That's always good for Phil Hefner. But I don't get what makes him think that he can get into this ring with a champion the caliber of one Ben Thrasher. We've seen Ben Thrasher take out Mike Jackson. We've seen Ben Thrasher take out Jason Hampton. We've seen Ben, we've seen ben Thrasher take out just about everyone. What makes said G. Sanford think that he can take on Ben Thrasher? Well, you know, you said that you've seen Mike Jackson, or excuse me, Ben Thrasher take out Mike Jackson. That's not saying a whole lot. Mike Jackson is just an outlaw wrestler. He never won a match on television. Mike Jackson is a nobody. He's a has-been. Anybody to put him in a main event match, if there's another organization that has Mike Jackson in a main event match, they're stupid. You can't use that as competition for Big Ben Thrasher. Jason Hampton, on the other hand, he's an up-and-coming youngster. He uh, has defeated the Southern TV champion, Big Ben Thrasher. And if I was making the rules, if I wrote them by love, Jason Hampton, wow, vicious move by Ben Thrasher. Did you just see that move, Phil Hefner? He, Ben Thrasher, just put said G. Sanford straight through the mat, right into the garbage dump. Well, folks, Ben Thrasher, I, he is, man, I, I don't see how much more said G. Sanford can take of this.
Sedgy Sanford coming back. He may have this match won now, but Phil Hefner, Phil Hefner, look. What is this orange pumpkin coming out of the ring? What? What is... Oh, that's Jason Hampton. He's just coming to watch the match, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> too bad the title's not on the line anymore. You know, I, a lot of these rules I don't understand. He's the TV champion. His match... It doesn't matter if you understand. This is a, a sanctioned belt. Ray makes the rules for Hefner, not you. Whatever the case may be, Jason Hampton at ringside watching this match. Said G. Sanford making his way up. Big Ben Thrasher on a losing streak, if you will, right now. Did you just see this? Look, look at that. Jason Hampton clearly interfering in this match. Clearly interfering. What, what is this? The, the Southern TV champion has lost two weeks in a row. I can't believe that, Logan Chase. I just cannot believe that. Your winner of the match, said G. Sanford, with a little help, if you will, from Jason Hampton. A little help, Phil Hefter. He got a whole lot more than a little help from Jason Hampton. This is an outrage. This is a travesty. Ben Thrasher is a Southern television champion. He does not have to take this. And frankly, you and the rest of these TV viewers don't need the privilege of seeing me out here anymore. I am going to the back to make my game plan to take out Air Paris right here tonight. Wow, what a look of astonishment on the face of the Southern TV champion, Big Ben Thrasher. A losing streak, if you will, two weeks in a row right here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. Fans, we'll be right back after this message. these messages. We've got the Southern Tag Team Champions, the Hollywood Brunettes are here, and they're going to be going up against the former champions, the regular guys, right after these messages. Fans, we'll be right back with you. <laughs> he may be the champion, but he lost. One Hello, and welcome to Quick Lane. We're here with our friendly and experienced staff to satisfy your vehicle's every need. From tires, oil changes, brakes, air conditioning, tune-ups, and more. We also offer a free no-risk front-end align check on all makes and models, free tire rotation for the life of tire with purchase, and the lowest prices guaranteed on tires. Best of all, we service all makes and models. That's Quick Lane, located at 310 Dodd Boulevard, off Highway 411, behind Rome, Ford, Lincoln, Mercury. Looking for something extreme? Check out Extreme Cartoons. They specialize in car alarm, mobile TV and DVDs, body kits and wheels. Step in and see Mike Davenport and the gang at Extreme Cartoons. Let them install your next car system. They're your one-stop shop for your custom needs. Service and installs all your audio needs with brands like Clarion, Sony, Pioneer, and many more. Custom wheels ordered on the spot. That's Extreme Cartoons, 11 Smith Road, Somerville, Georgia. Extreme Tunes for regular guys. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, car buyers of all ages, Rome Ford is the main event in North Georgia for your new car, truck, and pre-owned vehicles. The Dwayne Reed difference gives you a tires loyalty program, 75,000 mile warranty on all new vehicles, and Rome Ford is your North Georgia F-Series headquarters. Rome Ford slams the competition by offering $200 off the best negotiated price when you mention this ad. Rome Ford, Highway 411 in Rome. Check us out on the web. Lynch Homes of 4363 Martha Berry Highway invite you to come and check out their selection of homes now. Anyone who has not seen a manufactured home in the last five years should at least look at a Lynch home before they build. Our homes are built with the highest specs in the industry, with 27 years in the business of selling homes. You want to trade in what? We'll trade for anything. Check us out today. That's Lynch Homes at 1-800-841-2262 or check us out on the web at lynchhomes.com. Hello and welcome to Don Lolo's Mexican Restaurant, where our fast, friendly service and authentic Mexican dishes are sure to tantalize your taste buds. From fajitas and nachos to poblanos and chimichangas, a great atmosphere with a menu for the entire family. Celebrate a birthday or enjoy karaoke on Saturday nights at the Ringo location. Don Lolo's Mexican food is so good. Two locations to serve you, Nashville Street in Ringo and North Main Street in Lafayette. Don Lolo's Authentic Mexican Phil Hefner back with you at Salt TV. We're looking at Andrew Alexander and Kyle Matthews, the Southern Tag Team Champions, the Hollywood Brunettes. 
going up against the former tag team champions, the regular guys, Tyler Smith returning after uh, being home with a family. You know, he is one heck of a dad, a newborn son, a little under the weather the last couple of weeks. This is the first time we've seen Tyler and Bobby together in about a month, man, and it's great. Um, these regular guys, some of the, the, the crowd's favorite, they're from right here in Trine, Georgia, and they are the former Southern Tag Team Champions, as are the regular guys. And folks, uh, we've mentioned a lot of uh, the uh, big Pro Wrestling Revolution show that was September 16th. Uh, and you can visit their website, www.prowrestlingevolution.com, as well as southernallstarwrestling.com, both sanctioned by the NAWA, a name synonymous for wrestling in the southeast for the last 15, 20 years. Folks, uh, Andrew Alexander, Tyler Smith, starting the action, reaching out. Whoa, Andrew Alexander, just too cocky for this, Tyler Smith. Nice to see Granny in attendance tonight. Drives all the way up from Douglasville, Georgia. And her friends Jessica and Jason driving down from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Folks, we've got fans all over, from all over the southeast to drive just to see Southern All-Star Wrestling. Tyler Smith working over the arm of Andrew Alexander. And uh, Andrew Alexander going for the ropes. Clean bait break by Tyler Smith, one half of the regular guys. You've seen the commercial, Extreme Tunes for Regular Guys. Visit our friends at Extreme Cartoons here in Somerville, Georgia at 11 Smith Road. Andrew Alexander working on the arm of uh, Tyler Smith right now. Got away from it just a little bit. Another nice clean break by Tyler Smith. Andrew Alexander. Andrew Alexander uh, a little stunned right now. Well, I'm joined right now by the junk man, the man from El Segundo, California. My friend, it's an honor to have Sid G. Sanford here with me right now. Sid, what's going on? Well, how you doing, Phil Hefner? I was just coming out to celebrate my victory over that big dummy Ben Thrasher. I tried to tell everybody I was going to put five across his lips, and I turned that fool straight fish-eyed. Said <laughs> so, G. Sanford, I got to tell you, you're one of my favorite competitors here at Southern All-Star Wrestling. But what about these regular guys? Tyler Smith, right now, the the, the father the father figure of the two. He's got an adorable little baby boy sitting here at the show tonight, just a few months old, and he is all over this Andrew Alexander. No. The regular guys, I give it to you, Phil Hefner. They're a good team, but I, I don't necessarily agree with their wrestling gear. I think they should come on down to the junkyard and have me fix them up something real nice. Well, if anybody could do it, you could, said G. Sanford. I was uh, talking with Ben Thrasher during your match. You know, he was putting down the common man, putting down the working man, if you will. And I told him that there's only one working man in independent wrestling in the southeast and that's said g sanford you work all the time you may be washing dishes you may be picking up cans on the side of the road but you make an honest living selling copper wire at the junkyard whatever it takes i know that said g sanford makes an honest living and you are the true working man of georgia professional wrestling yes this is true phil hefner but before me there was one working man but the hardest work he ever did was rolling over and getting out of his bed Oh, right now, Ooh. we'll leave that right there. Must be an outlaw we don't know about. Reversal by Bobby Hill on Kyle Matthews. Too hot for TV. And these guys, not only are they the Southern Tag Team Champions, they're the Evolution Southern Tag Team Champions. Uh, this NAWA sanctioned pro wrestling evolution as well as Southern All-Star Wrestling. That means they're the top tag team in the entire NAWA today. And this Kyle Matthews. He is an awesome young competitor, 19 years old, already a five-year veteran, believe it or not, a five-year veteran of the wrestling business. But he doesn't have to result to these, you know, these cheating tactics he uses. But this Bobby Hill, Bobby Hill has really impressed me. I've uh, been a little worried about the tag team of the regular guys the past few weeks. But Tyler Smith, he's where he needs to be. He's with his family. What a role model Tyler Smith is for these young kids. You know, we've got uh, kids in attendance today from probably three months old to Granny, who's got to be 95. Yeah, well, uh, t 
Tyler Smith, he's doing the right thing. He's not like the rest of these big dummies wanting to run around and worry, and worry about all the stardom. Now, uh, as far as these Hollywood brunettes go, these big dummies, you see Andrew Alexander prancing around the ring like he's the nature boy Ric Flair. But uh, as you see, these Hollywood brunettes, apparently they have grown up in Hollywood because you can tell they've missed a few meals. They're running around, they're looking anorexic, thinking that they're pretty when they need to get a steak or a slice of bread on their, head, on their stomachs. These big dummies, I tell you what, Phil Hefner, they're a good team. As far as these cheating tactics go, I don't, I don't think they're much of a looker, but, uh, and I think that Andrew Alexander, I think he's a little, yeah, you know, but I don't know if I can say that on TV, so. But these big dummies, they're a pretty good team, but right now, Bobby Hill of the regular guys is putting the, is putting the hands, he's putting the fist to Andrew Alexander in the corner, and he's, he's just wailing on him, Phil Hefner, and I, and Kyle Matthews, I, he's running around with this Hollywood star on the back of his tights. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what else to say about these big dummies, Phil Hefner. Well, said I believe you said it about all, but this could be it. We, oh man, we almost saw new Southern Tag Team Champions. What about the next match? The main event here tonight on Southern All Star Wrestling: the Don Lolo's Mexican Restaurant TV Main Event. Well, we could see it in right here is the Southern heavyweight title match between Chattooka County's own, one of your best friends, Air Paris, defending his belt against one of your arch enemies, the urban legend, Murder One. Well, that big dummy, Murder One, he comes out, he portrays the role of a gangster. He's not gangster. And El Zagundo, the real gangsters, they kick around cans, and they, they just beat people up catch them at ATMs, and they teach these big dummies that they should really get a debit card. Murder One is running around. Oh, my God, what a backdrop. Murder One is running around with this with this Logan Chase of Chase Enterprises. If you ask me, Logan Chase may be a little bit on the funny side. Uh, and I, I don't know. He looks like he likes a little bit of beans and disease. I, I don't know about these big dummies, but I'll tell you what, Murder One, he got me twice. But I'll guarantee you Phil Hefner the third time's a charm. And one day, I'm going to put five across that big dummy's lips. And I'm going to hit him with the big one. Wow. You said it all. But right, right now, Andrew Alexander taking the brunt from one Bobby Hill. And fans, every Thursday night, we're right here at the TV Sports Arena in Trine, Georgia. Just uh, about five miles north of Walmart on Highway 27, so you can drive in from Center, Alabama with no problem. Drive up from Rome, Georgia, and see all the great action. It's a family event. Uh, once again, uh, you know, like I said, we've got folks here from three months old, to, and we were kidding around about Granny, but she's she's on up into her 60s. They drive from below Atlanta, Georgia, from you know, to close to Nashville, Tennessee, just to see this wrestling action. You're not going to see it anywhere else in Ch in Chattooga County, that's for sure. Uh, also, you know, we're going to be in Calhoun, Georgia soon, Center, Alabama, and Canton, Georgia, Pro Wrestling Evolution on September 16th. Right now, Kyle Matthews, Andrew Alexander tag, and they're really working over Bobby Hill, one half of the regular guys right now. Vicious boot to the midsection of Bobby Hill, over a knee to the chin. Bobby Hill is down. The crowd firmly behind Bobby Hill. This could be it. Said one, two, almost three, but Bobby Hill is just too much. I tell you what, this this Kyle Matthews, he's a, he's a pretty good guy. He's a big dummy right now, but uh, he's he's got a lot of work. He, a lot of guys in the business, they, they need some work on him, but this Kyle Matthews, he's pretty much got it down. I'll tell you what, I've watched a couple of this guy's matches, and he's got one of the meanest drop kicks I've ever seen in the business. The only, the only other drop kick I've ever seen about that is when my mule back in the junkyard kicked Lamont right in the face one time. It was so funny. I'll tell you what, I almost bit the big one right there, Phil Hefner. That was the Elizabeth I'm coming to join you, honey, I think, said. Right now, Andrew Alexander outside the ring going up to the first. Second, are we going to see him at the top rope? The ceiling's a little low in the TV sports arena, but Andrew Alexander is going to do it. He is a risky young man. Oh, Bobby Hill will have nothing. Body slam off the top rope. Bobby Hill still caring for his back there a little bit, but he's going to cover Andrew Alexander. One, two, too much for And or Andrew Alexander. Still too much. He's got too much. Kyle Matthews barges in the ring, stops the pin from Tyler Smith, but Tyler's... And Tyler, you know, he is 
What a great guy this Tyler Smith is as well as Bobby Hill. You know, parents, some these are two guys your, your kids can really look up to, heroes your kids can look up to right here. Well, they're not doing so hot right now about Kyle, uh, Kyle Matthews, uh, referee Chris Gans checking because said Kyle Matthews is not beyond choking Bobby Hill. Well, like I said before, Phil Hefner, Kyle Matthews is a he's a nice athlete. And uh, Bobby Hill right now, he's he's got him down. He's, he's working on that neck. Uh, this probably will be followed by some submission. I, I don't see too many submissions from these Hollywood brunettes, though. So it'll probably be that powerful mule kick that I just got done talking about. And that high knee lift earlier was just, I don't know. I think it might have knocked Bobby Hill straight into big dummy. All right, the fans firmly behind Bobby Hill right now. Fans getting behind him. Tyler Smith getting behind him. Yeah, I see our friends on the front row clapping for Bobby Hill. Uh, he's almost back up to his feet right now here at the TV Sports Arena in Tryon, Georgia. Oh, vicious elbow into the midsection of Kyle Matthews, and it was enough to break the hold off the ropes. Oh, that knee right into the midsection of Bobby Hill. Kyle Matthews rolls him over. One, two, almost. Man, Kyle Matthews. Reaching for the tag. Andrew Alexander tags in. It is a clean tag by the Hollywood Brunettes, surprisingly enough. They've got to the five count to get out of the ring. Kyle Matthews out of the ring. Andrew Alexander. Oh, knee right to the side of the head. My goodness, poor Bobby Hill. I mean, he's, you know, these guys haven't worked together in the last month, said, and maybe, maybe that's part of it. Well, yeah, that's part of it, but right now, these two big dummies, the Hollywood Brunettes, they, they've cut the ring off. Uh, Andrew Alexander's running around portraying the role of Ric Flair. So apparently, they've been studying some old tapes of the horsemen, and they've learned to cut the ring off. And as you see right now, Andrew Alexander getting under the skin of Tyler Smith. You got to keep your cool, Tyler. You're, you're doing nothing but punishing your partner. You're acting like a big dummy, and there's no tag between, there's no tag between the Hollywood Brunettes. Hey, come on, ref. And the referee apparently is a big dummy. I mean, he's he's allowing the legal choke, and it's it's just not right. Come on, get him off the ropes, ref. And Kyle Matthews with the illegal choke on the rope, and the ref is not not doing anything. Come on, ref. I know you're a little guy, but you can do a little bit more to break it up. Referee Chris Gans backing away from the action there, but he's staying right on top of it. Whoa, vicious clothesline by Kyle Matthews. Uh-oh, he's, oh, Lord, he's calling for it, said. He's calling for the finisher right now. He is, he gets Bobby Hill up by the ears. That is just a, like a slap in the face. There it is, DDT. That is it. Oh, my goodness, shades of Jake the Snake Roberts, said. Well, that was a vicious DDT. And, I mean, I don't, I don't see how Bobby Hill managed. I don't see, oh, my God, he's up. And, <laughs> Kyle Matthews, the, the size is coming into play here, people. Kyle Matthews, this big dummy, he's wailing away, but Bobby Hills, oh my God. Oh my God, people. And Andrew Alexander here with the illegal, he's the illegal man. Ref, get him out of the ring. Come on. Looking for something extreme? Check out Extreme Cartoons. They specialize in car alarms, mobile TV and DVDs, body kits and wheels. Step in and see Mike Davenport and the gang at Extreme Cartoons. Let them install your next car system. They're your one-stop shop for your custom needs. Service and installs all your audio needs with brands like Clarion, Sony, Pioneer, and many more. Custom wheels ordered on the spot. 
Cartoons. That's Extreme Cartoons, 11 Smith Road, Somerville, Georgia. Extreme Tunes for regular guys. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, car buyers of all ages, Rome Ford is the main event in North Georgia for your new car, truck, and pre-owned vehicles. The Dwayne Reed difference gives you a tires loyalty program, 75,000 mile warranty on all new vehicles, and Rome Ford is your North Georgia F-Series headquarters. Rome Ford slams the competition by offering $200 off the best negotiated price when you mention this ad. Rome Ford, Highway 411 in Rome. Check us out on the web. In my life, but that big dummy murder one, I guarantee you one day, people, I'm going to put five across his lips. Well, I said, gee, this is what we've been waiting for, and I know you've held the four down well. Had to go take care of Granny. Boy, she gets really into this wrestling action here at Southern All-Star Wrestling. Air Paris backs Murder One into the corner. Murder One lies. He's just a pure and out liar. He says Air Paris pulled his hair. He didn't do it. Well, Air, pa Air Paris pulling Murder One's hair is like it's like you're pulling hair on a freshly on a freshly born <laughs> on a freshly born mule. It's not really that long. It's if that's supposed to be an afro, it's got to be an infant. <laughs> because it's not too big. And I tell you what, that granny, that granny, Logan Chase better watch out because she, she might put five across his lip before the night's over with. What do you think about that, Phil Hefner? Well, I tell you what, back in the day, the old playboy Phil Hefner, I know you remember him, she stuffed me in a garbage can one time. She did it. She put me right in the gar garbage can in Rome, Georgia. Murder one misses. And he, uh, her parents says he pulled his hair. And that's very possible. I didn't see that, but it's very possible, Sid. I mean, I didn't see him pull his hair either, but if the man says he did it, the fans seem to agree the ref didn't see it. He got on the air Paris about pulling Murder One's hair, so I guess what's fair is fair. And as far as Granny, back in the days of Playboy Phil Hefner putting you in a dumpster, <laughs> by God, Phil Hefner, you shouldn't have been running around acting like a big dummy. Well, I, I got to tell you, I, uh, I feel really bad away, about the way I've treated the fans in the past and some of the guys that I was associated with. But, you know, I got to tell you, one of my best friends in the world, Frank Air Paris, whatever you want to call him, just a great guy. Somebody for you to look up to. Uh, he's been where all these other wrestlers want to be. Uh, wow, what a great test press. One, two, almost. But Murder One, I got to give him that. Murder One is the man. The last man to wrestle, the legendary Big Boss Man. He stole his nightstick right there in Rome, Georgia at an NAWA sanctioned show. This man uh, has had great matches with New Jack, great matches with Abdullah the Butcher, great matches with Jake the Snake Roberts. Murder One is no one to be taken lightly. But Air Paris, on the other hand, everybody knows the phenomenal AJ Styles. Air Paris, a better mind than anybody in this business, a former tag team partner of the phenomenal AJ Styles. This fan in the front row, Eric Stanley, who uh, claimed to be one of the biggest fans of Air Paris, he's having to move himself back a few rows because uh, Murder One's upset him so much. Eric Stanley, a good fan of uh, Southern All-Star Wrestling at all the cards. I think he's from round around Rome, Georgia. Uh, and Rome, Georgia is pretty close to El Segundo, right? Well, yeah, it's, it's pretty close to El Segundo, but they got a few junkyards in Rome, Georgia, but the best one to come to, you come on right over to Sanford and Sons, and we'll, we'll, we'll hook you up with the finest quality in junk. Now, this Eric Stanley kid, Murder One is just giving this kid a hard time. This big dummy Murder One is just mad because Eric Stanley didn't say that Murder One was his favorite wrestler, and Logan Chase, Logan Chase needs to keep... Logan Chase needs to keep his himself out of this match before somebody gets up and hurts him. I got a good mind to go out there and hit Logan Chase with the big one because a few weeks ago, Logan Chase was going around running his mouth. Him and Murder One were talking about said G. Sanford being at the bottom of the list here in Southern All-Star Wrestling. Well, tonight, said G. Sanford came out and I showed why I'm not at the bottom of the list. And me and Murder One, we had a killer match. But right now, Murder One and Air Paris are Murder One just, just choking Air Paris blatantly. No regard, no regard whatsoever. He doesn't care if he gets disqualified as long as he hurts somebody. With a name like Murder One, I don't understand. I, I don't, I don't understand why I'd care either if I'd hurt somebody. But to me, Murder One's still a big dummy, and Logan Chase is still over there. Ref, what are you doing? It's, it's. I'll tell you what, people. These fans, they need to get behind Air Paris because 
Air Parrish is Air Parrish is really getting worked over right now by Murder One and Logan Chase. And, and right now, people, Murder One, Murder One is just he needs to open those fists up. I'll tell you what, and he's still get him off the ropes, Murder One, because this is just not working. It's, there's, there's a big sunset flip. Come on, ref. One, two, three. Logan Chase said, "G." That big dummy, Logan Chase, needs to get his face needs to get his face out of this match right now before Air Paris puts it. No, no, not okay. I almost beat the big one, people. I tell you what, I th I thought that Murder One was about to steal one, and Murder One is still choking him. A blatant illegal choke, and he's not carried out. People, I've been down this road before. The blatant choke, yes, it wears your opponent down, but it's just not right. That's that's how you do it if you're just afraid that you can't win. You know, said G, I apologize to you. I apologize to the fans. I know you were just out here to do a little color commentary, but I've been speechless. I've about had enough with Logan Chase and Murder One. Logan Chase is devious, but he's nothing compared to the old playboy Phil Hefner. And we started talking about the old playboy Phil Hefner. That's some things I've done in the past that I'm not proud of. But I'm going to tell you what. If I got a hold of Logan Chase, I'd slap him naked and hide his clothes because I ain't never seen nobody get on my nerves as much as that little fruitcake does. He really drives me crazy. I don't like him. I don't like what he stands for. I have more respect for Murder One than I do Logan Chase. Right now, Murder One on the top rope. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Come on. Uh, come on, Frank. Move. I get, Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> that could have been... <laughs> That didn't have the looks of a, of a great outcome, but Murder One is a big guy, 300 plus pounds, I do believe. But it's like you were saying, Phil Hefner, the playboy Phil Hefner was a great manager that he, that you were. I didn't agree with the dirty tactics, but anybody right now is a better manager than Logan Chase. The only thing he does is presses around the ring like a little sissy from El Zagando. And El Zagando, we don't like sissies. We put them at the bottom of the junk pile. There he is. Get him, Paris. He's calling right. for that he's, super he's kick. He's calling man. for the super kick. I'm a fan He better right watch. Oh, oh, no. And he catch. No. No. And he touched the big Larry. Believe me. Oh. And the big. Come on, Frank. Let's go. Boot to the chest. Come on. No. No. Not oh. Yes. Said you got to handle this, man. I'm a fan right now. I'm, I'm getting into this match too much. I've crossed the line. I apologize to you fans. I apologize to you, Sir G. Sanford. I apologize to our camera crew from Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm apologizing to my dead mama. Oh, my God. Come on, Paris. Air Paris wheels his way out of the body stuff. Roll up. One, two, go. No. Murder one oh, kicks up. Well, that'll teach Logan Chase the lesson about sticking his nose in people. And Logan Chase is sliding the chair in the ring, people. This, this cannot be good. This cannot be good. That's right, Paris. That's right, Paris. You put five across that big dummy's lips. Oh, and by go. God, Air Paris put five. Oh, my God. No. No. Oh, my God. Oh, God, Sid. This is ridiculous. That's, that, that can't he's be out. good. He's, he's out. He's, he's lifeless. No. No. And, oh, oh, God. God. How can oh, he do God. that? Oh, it's God. because all these fans from Chattooga <laughs> County, they're behind him. They're behind Frank Paris. That's right, people. People, I tell you what, Air Paris, he's, he's, he can't have too many more of those in him. He's, he's got, oh, my God, murder one. This, this is a big man to be using a chair. This is not right, people. I'm sorry, this, sir. This, this is a big man to be using a chair. It's not right. Paris, watch out. Watch out, Paris. Come on, Paris. Oh my God, he's he's gonna, oh, oh yeah, and he misses, oh my God, this, this is, oh, oh my God, in a face buster on the chair, oh, and Parrish, Parrish returning the favor, Get it, Parrish. Air Parrish is returning the favor with a choke. I'm sorry, that, Sid, I've crossed the line, I, I can't help it. That's right, Air Parrish, you tell, I'll tell you what, they brought the chair into the ring and they wanted to use it. By God, you're the champ. You don't lose the belt by disqualification. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Oh, my God. And Air Paris. Air Paris showing shades of frustration. He's Air Paris is showing shades of frustration, people. And him and Murder One, they're going at it. Air Paris is, Air Paris is just going crazy. Oh, my God, people. Air Paris, Air Paris is going crazy. Oh, my. And Logan, I can't take this anymore, Sam. Uh oh, 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 Phil 
Hefner, where, where you going, Phil Hefner? Oh my God, and Phil Hefner, Phil Hefner with a dance press. Oh my God, people, Phil Hefner with a Lutheran press on that big dummy, Logan Chase. And by God, people, Air Paris and Phil Hefner, Air Paris and Phil Hefner, oh my God. This looks like the return of the Playboy Phil Hefner that we talked about earlier, people. Phil Hefner, Phil Hefner coming in, putting, put, Phil Hefner came in and put five across. Phil Hefner came in and put five across that big dummy Logan Chase's lips. I challenge you to a match, and if you want to bring your partner, Eric Harris, would you be my partner? We're going to have a tag team match. Oh, God, you hear it, people. Phil Hefner has set the challenge. He has thrown the challenge on the table. <laughs> Watch your mouth, Phil Hefner. This is a family show. This is a family show, Phil Hefner. Watch your mouth. And I'll tell you what, you may like me now, but I'm going to turn you against it because I'm going to beat the crap out of you. Yep. <laughs> and there you have it. You're lying inside of you, son. Fact it. Fact well, it. As you people see, Logan Chase has got about a good 350, 350 pounds on Phil Hefner. This this may be the this may be the return of the Playboy Phil Hefner. I don't know people, but I'll tell you what, Logan Chase. Oh, whoa, whoa, Murder One! What is Murder One doing? Murder One has my huff cap. What are you doing? Hey, you big dummy! That huff cap is worth seven hundred and fifty dollars. You better bring that huff cap over here right now before I get up and put five across your lips, you big dummy. Because next week, Phil Hefner, you see a little known fact that Phil Hefner. You give me back my huff cap, you big dummy. I've broken you before, just as I've broken your little tag team partner Air Paris before. I'll tell you what, people. I, I don't think Logan Chase has what it takes to take this match because because.